Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization VI Rise and Fall as Latero of the Mapuche. Guys, I can't emphasize enough how much I appreciate your guys' support, your social media shares, likes, comments, and activity. And to those on DTube and Steam it, thank you guys so very much for your follows on there. I really like how it is growing. Alright guys, so we are still just marching along, just getting our cities prepared as we move forward, we need housing in our main city desperately. So we're going to target that right now by making a sewer. And looks like Calcutta is going to need, probably going to go with an industrial zone here. Maybe even an encampment. Because we have India right next to us. I don't want to use that forest. So this would be a good spot right here. So let's do an encampment here as well. That'll give us uh, our ability to... Use our units. Now, we don't have a governor there, so we won't get the bonus. And then, since we were forming up our cores, aren't we? Yeah, that's what we were doing. Forming up our cores so we can make some independent units here and, and um, facilitate those cores. Because that's kind of why I make the units that I do early in the game. is so that they can level up, and then once we do get to this point, we'll have leveled up what I call main the main core group or the leader and then we form them up with um the other units and then we have a very 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 powerful unit that's what we end up with that kind of goes without saying doesn't it we got one more build and i think i want to go with a well really need some farms <laughs> you guys can already tell i'm not very hip to farms i love the production i'm gonna go ahead and make a farm right here now, we can make farms on hills now, I believe. We should be at that tech now. I think it's... Well, I won't bother you with it, but we're... Uh, we, I believe we are at that tech or near it anyway. Okay. So, we're just going to... Um, this guy can actually form up with these over here. So, that's what I need to do. Let's go ahead and have you go form up with our strongest unit which is he's at three he's at three so we'll just have him come right over to this unit now it'll probably <laughs> it, it won't it may not distinguish which of the two that it will form up with so make sure it's far enough away from him we can go ahead and probably just form up these guys too i don't want to get like i don't want like a whole army of um the Raiders, so I'm trying to find the other one. I think we just have three, so those were the two that were combined, and this guy's by himself. Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure we just have the three. <clears throat> yep, he's by himself, and they're formed up right there. Okay, so, yeah. All right, next turn. It is unseasonably warm. Here where I live. Very warm in Studio A today. And I am enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Which makes it even hotter. But we're gonna we're gonna push through. So we can get you these uh, great exciting <laughs> Civilization 6 videos out to you. Uh-oh! Robert the Bruce! The target is victorious. So Robert the Bruce has captured Vilnius. The request of Velnus is a matter of great concern. Target Robert the Bruce. The target is victorious. Emergency ended. Um, we were a participant for a very short period of time. So the target or Robert the Bruce trades to cities, gains plus two gold, and he gets 2,000 gold per member. Wow. Or the, two, or the members get 2,000 gold per. I didn't see our money to see if we got it. There is um, a bit of a glitch in the game when it comes to those emergencies. So remember when I was kind of like wondering what the heck was going on? Um, there is a bit of a glitch in it uh, for it to show who's actually at war and such. All right, so here is our field cannon. And I want it to form up with, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I want it to form up with our highest ranked crossbowman. We'll have to upgrade the bowman. <coughs> I apologize, guys, because not only is it our um, unseasonably warm, also lots of pollen and our allergy season is kicking in, too. 
Let's see. We could even form up with this guy once we get to um, armies and just form those up. <laughs> and our spy, we will have him foment unrest. Sure. That's a new spy capability. And let's see, where can we send you? Probably just have you, like, come way down over here. We have open borders, so we'll just have them kind of, like, want him to come this way. So how about we do something like that? All right. Okay. Envoy? I don't think so, do we? No. No option for that. What does it say? Ah, we've completed a quest. Okay. And then there's the emergency, or the conclusion of the emergency. So, it looks like China built Angkor Wat! Which is in Cambodia. <clears throat> Alright, so you want Romeo and Juliet as well. Everybody's a fan of Bill Shakespeare. I have uh, done two culture victories in Civ 6. Culture victory is not really one of my favorite ones. It is very... I mean, the game itself is already micromanaging. But if you really want to get into micromanagement, then... Culture victory is definitely... Economics is a subject that does not greatly respect one's wishes. Alright, so... I think I want him to come to our home city for now. Um, or even this city here. What city is this? Potelli. Pot Potelli. Whatever. Right here, go here. All right, and then we'll have this fill cannon form up, so we'll upgrade here shortly. Don't think there's anything extraordinarily interesting up there, but... We can circumvent... Circumnavigate. <laughs> circumvent. We can circumnavigate the uh, world to get some uh, error score. Rifling... They kind of made this a little more valuable, viable now, because we can get the... Spec Ops, which is kind of cool. It, you know, allows the... It will allow the, um... <laughs> scout to, you know, be, have a little more of a use to it. Alright, so we used his last use there for a farm. I think that's actually going to be far more beneficial here. This city is growing pretty nicely. We got a decent amount of faith as well, although I don't want to work faith in and of itself. Might actually end up working like the harbor. We are making an academy there, which is kind of nice. Um, I need to take a quick look at production. Uh, see who has the highest. Very annoying that we cannot... See, our capital is at 48. And Ostia, I believe, is our second highest. It is, and that is right here. And we've not even made... The industrial zone yet so I'm looking forward to that and those are gonna be our two main spaceport cities that's a little ways down the road but that's the direction we're going in um, doing a space victory also allows you to play the game longer well technically technically culture victory would potentially be as long the shortest victory is in my opinion the shortest victory is domination depending on the map and the map size um, not, that's not inherently true in all cases for all maps and all gameplay. It just really comes down to your gameplay and game style. Let's go to Monterose, although actually we'll go to Delhi. I don't want to do too much of Robert the Bruce because we might just go after him. I have a feeling that there could be a potential another emergency. I'm going to send him all the way over here just to kind of... See if we can't get that circumnavigate bonus at some point. Maybe it just has to hit one point of the defogged area versus another defogged point of the area. Okay. Oh, there it is. We've already got it. Circumnavigate the world. Outstanding. We've already gotten it now. 
Oh, I guess it did it just then. That's kind of funny. We are no longer suzerain of Stockholm. Okay, that can be an issue. Yeah, because we did move our... Um... There is no shame in deterrent. Okay, there we go. We circumnavigated. Three error score. That's pretty decent. It's not bad. We're 102 of 115. And we got suffrage and totalitarianism. Let me take a quick look here. What our next government might be. Yeah, we might go with democracy. Or I typically go with democracy, I should say, more specifically. And we'll go ahead and get... Man, we still need housing here. I don't want to use my stone for that. Have uh, I guess... I wonder if we've made every one of the government buildings already. Wow, Big Ben would be nice. That's some nice cash. That's got some serious bonuses. This must, I think this is a new... Casa de Deconstrucción, I think, is a new wonder. I don't want to use up my stuff. Anyway, I just want to <laughs> take a look at it. All right, we'll go ahead and go with an art museum because we don't have um, a city with art. So we'll do that. Our two main cities we can do with art. I don't think I even have a theater square here. I don't. That is in that city. Okay. Meanwhile, you can mark it. Our money situation is quite good. I'm very happy with that. We need 16. We're currently at 13. So I may go strong food. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, stock market. Could do a temple here. Uh, housing, very good here. So let's go with the lighthouse. We're going to start doing a little bit of a navy, too, I think. All right, so here's our dude. We can, I guess we're forming up with this guy. Oh, we can do either one. Okay, that's right. We can form it up. We'll go here. There we go. It could actually make some units here in our capital once we get um, the museum or the art museum done. Yeah. Suffrage. Yep, yeah, those are our boost. And Governor Magnus is established in Ostia. Okay, so our governor, we have moved. We don't need horses. What about oranges? Would you do oranges? What would you want for this deal? Uh, dude, no. Not even. That's not even reasonable. Not even in the neighborhood of reasonable. Okay, so, alright, so we have Magnus in Ostia now, so... And I'd like to get to the vertical inter interrogation. The vertical integration. Uh, the city receives production from any number of nearby industrial zones, not just the first. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Feeling pretty confident right now um king difficulty is not overly concerning yeah we're 143 compared well, to 119 of peter and that everything um, is king size let's see do i want to make builders again i think i do actually so this is a new one public transport Gold per appeal of the tile. Okay. Interesting. That's a new one too. I think. No, maybe not. Um, I think we will make some more builders. Um... Civil privilege. Maybe we'll... Yeah, let's just pop science out for a minute. We'll pop out of the science. You can just maybe come over here as far as you can go. Like down here. Alright. <clears throat> I 
All right. Let's see. Colonization. It's mostly religion. I think we'll go with colonization. And we'll get two more envoys out of it, too. I would like to get our governors kind of ranked up a little bit more. Kind of see how culture is becoming a little bit more focused, too. Because there's, there's kind of... I guess several mindsets when it comes to gameplay, you know, those that focus on production like me kind of in science and then others on culture. And I think that introducing the governors as well as just, well, introducing the governors does kind of focus things more on culture <clears throat> or encourages the player to be a little more focused on culture. So kind of a balance across the board. And we're going to need uh, 10 pop. So... Not too much longer from now. So let's go ahead and get a shipyard. Should maybe get a civilian to work that. We will get housing out of it as well. This city is going to be a great city for ships. All right, guys. I'm going to have to go ahead and end it here because I didn't set the timer. And... Uh, <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Guys, thank you so much for your support. I genuinely appreciate it. So if you are or haven't already, go ahead and click on that channel icon to subscribe. If you're on Steam and or DTube, click on that follow. Thank you guys so very much for your support. And I will see you in the next game.